What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how I created this speed ramp boomerang effect where the video goes back and forward, sped up and then slowed down. So here's my raw video clip. You're going to want to use a video clip with a nice bit of movement or have something in the video that's moving to really show this boomerang effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the part of the video clip where I want it to slow down around about here and I'm going to select the video clip, hold down shift and press B. And then I want to speed up one side of the video clip and slow down the second half of the video clip. So I'm just going to click and drag this speed ramp to the left and that's going to speed up this part. It says fast 331%. So I'm just going to keep speeding this up and playing it back until we have the speed I'm going for. And then on this side, what I'm going to do is slow it down to 40% because this video clip is filmed in 60 frames per second on a 24p timeline, I can slow it down by 40% and it will still be nice and smooth. And now I need to find these tabs here and drag that down so that it's around about there. So this tab will smooth out the speed ramp and normally it should show up. I don't know why I had to extend the video clip. I just want to make sure this tab is around about there just before the end of the video clip. So we should have a video clip that speeds up and slows down. So now that I have my video clip set to the speed I want it at, I'm going to go to the video parameters and stabilize it so that it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to add some motion blur. So I'm going to go to browser, go to my titles tab, and I'm going to add in some motion blur to this. So this is going to add some motion blur to the sped up part, smoothing it out even more. I'll leave the link to this motion blur plugin in the description. This preset right here is actually a free download. Okay, so now to create the boomerang effect, what I'm going to do is select both of these and copy and paste them. So command C and then command V. And then on this copy, what I'm going to do is select the motion blur and the video clip, right click and go to new compound clip and click OK. And the reason I put the motion blur inside the compound clip, because once I reverse the video clip, motion blur doesn't work for some reason. So I'm going to keep it inside. And then on this compound clip, I'm going to select it and go to the speed wheel here and go to reverse clip. So now we get this sped up boomerang effect. So now I'm going to bring on my next video clip. And if I want this to transition smoothly into the next video clip, and I need to make sure the camera is moving in the same direction. So on this last video clip, the camera is moving from right to left. And then on this video clip, the camera is also moving from right to left. So, so I can use this and it will create like a smooth speed ramp transition between the two. If this clip was moving in the other direction, then I could just select it and reverse the video clip so that it matches the one before it and then it will transition smoothly. But I don't need to do that since the camera is moving from right to left. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps. I'm going to add a speed ramp here and speed it up by moving the slider and also slow this section down. And then I'm going to bring the tab down and then a Quick shortcut to cut your video clips, select it, hold down option and then press right bracket. This will quickly cut the video clip to where the marker is. So now I'm going to just adjust the speed until I'm happy with how it looks. The speed will be different for every video clip depending on how fast the movement is or how quick you're moving the camera. So there's not really a formula where it will work exactly the same. Okay, so once I'm happy with the speed, I'm going to stabilize the video clip and then I'm going to copy and paste my motion blur onto there. And then I'm going to select it, copy and paste, then select these two, right click, go to new compound clip. And then go to the speed wheel over here and go to reverse clip. So now when we put these back to back, because the camera is moving in the same direction, it creates a pretty cool transition. So now I'm going to move on to creating this slide in transition. So I'm going to bring on my next video clip and I've already added a speed ramp at the start of this video clip. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste it. And then on the very first frame, what I'm going to do is hold down shift and press H. And that's going to create a freeze frame of the first frame of that video clip. And I'm going to bring it over the video clip before. 
and crop it just there. And then I'm gonna go over to my effects tab and I'm gonna add a mask, I'm going to add a draw mask over this. And I'm just going to click and add points to draw around part of the video that I want to slide in. And this doesn't have to be super accurate because it's going to be sliding in quite fast and the motion blur is going to smooth out the edges. So I'm just going to make this kind of rough. And then I'm going to select the points and right click and click smooth. This will just smooth out all of the points. And I'm just going to go to the feather and just turn the feather down. And then what I'm going to do is go to the last frame on this freeze frame and then go to the transform tool and just click the keyframe button on there. And then go to the beginning and slide this video clip this freeze frame off of the screen. And then, so now we have this really basic slide on transition. So I'm going to drag in some motion blur and add some motion blur to this. And then I'm just going to select those and turn those into a compound clip. And I'm gonna do that because, so that the motion blur doesn't affect the video clip underneath. And then I'm going to add another effect. I'm going to add this hologram effect. And I'm also going to add the hologram effect to this. Just to add like a flash effect. So I'm going to keyframe this at the start of the second video clip. It's 100% and then move forward a couple of frames and turn that down. So we get like this flash effect. And then I'm going to add a shake effect. So I'm going to bring in an adjustment layer. And on this, I'm going to add a shake effect. So I'm gonna to go to my effects tab, go down to RN shake, and I'm going to add the bounce preset onto that and just gives it a little bit of impact for the slide. And then I also added some lightning effect. So I'm going to go to my titles and go to this lightning plugin and drag these points side so that they come on from the side with the car. Copy and paste this. and maybe add a bit more motion blur to the shake. So now we have this pretty cool looking slide in transition. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll leave all the links to the effects and plugins that I use down in the description if you want to check those out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.